Come on, you and Oliver, come on in. Caring for the young takes a special kind of doctor called pediatricians. Why don't you just get up on the table, sweetie? Your mommy's going to get your shoes off. They are trained okay. to treat the specific needs of infants, children, and teens. Pediatricians are responsible for overseeing all the health and medical needs of their young patients. This is usually done through regular checkups. They'll look at the weight and height to make sure the patient is growing at the proper rate. They'll also look for telltale signs of problems, such as the early stages of a disease. Having a warm, caring personality is an asset. Visiting the doctor can be stressful for children, so a soothing voice and gentle manner are important, especially when it comes to giving shots. Pediatricians usually work in private offices or clinics and are assisted by a small staff of nurses and other administrative personnel. Pediatricians need to be able to make quick decisions, often under pressure. If there's an injury, such as from a bad fall, patients will make an emergency visit to the pediatrician. The doctor must be able to determine if the injury can be treated in the office or if the child needs to go to the hospital for more specialized treatment. And then we'll decide from there whether we need to get a CAT scan or not. It takes many years of education and training to be a physician. All doctors must finish college and four years of medical school. Depending on their specialty, they then complete between three and eight years of training called residency. Training is expensive. Most medical students borrow money to pay for their education, and the studying doesn't end there. Physicians must continue studying throughout their career to keep up with medical advances. Few careers are as demanding and as rewarding. After all, the future is in their care. Thank you very much. Great seeing you. <laughs>